Hello everyone and welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today, if you haven't noticed, it's Fire Truck Day. Um, these are an accumulation of the last couple of years, but especially the last couple of weeks where uh, every bulk purchase I've managed to get my hands on seems to have had a very large amount of fire trucks. So um, I've been building up and I decided today to take a look at some of them, do a little bit of unboxing and uh, go through the Matchbox history of fire vehicles, fire trucks. So make some room here. The table was all nice and tidy at one point and then I kept rearranging it to make it look better and better and then I completely messed things up so rather than fanning about trying to get it right again I thought I'd just roll the, the camera and get on with it. Um, oh, I'll give a quick mention to this one. Um, this came about um, about a week ago whatever um, but um, it was really dusty and this, this lad is slightly UV yellowed which it isn't too bad so I'm not that worried about it but um, yeah the model itself was really dusty and somebody suggested uh, use contact spray on the cars of yesteryear models of yesteryear I bought previously um, so I gave it a crack on this truck and a big improvement but um, I might have to give it another spray with the contact spray um, it's sort of my uh, experimental one. I'm not going to do everything um, that's got a bit of dust over it over the years. Uh, I'll let this sit for a while and see if the contact um, spray harms it in any way. But uh, I'll let you know how that went. If the uh, plastic starts warping or the paint peels off or something. I doubt it, but you never know. So we'll do a bit of a brief history of Matchbox fire service. These are all a little bit ropey. Well, this this one's not, but these are uh, a bit play worn, a bit ropey, but uh, they're all I've got of the really old stuff. Um, these are all bought at uh, either eBay or conventions um, at Fire Chief. Uh, there was from the 1978 catalogue. Hung around for a few years and then was replaced. And this fella here, the Merryweather, is missing its ladder. But we'll see if I can find that. I think it's in this one here. 1971. Yep, there it is. Um, but with the ladder and immaculate, obviously. So, what I like to do with the the older ones that aren't up to scratch, I have them as sit-ins. So. If there's a gap in my uh, collection anywhere, I'll find which whichever model it is and uh, whichever condition I find it in, regardless of missing ladder or not, it'll slot into the, the empty space until I find the immaculate one and then uh, sell the old one on or give it away or whatever. So, history lesson over. We'll get to some unboxing. Okay, we're back. I was interrupted yesterday by the cat at the door squawking like she hadn't been fed in a week, so I tended to her most urgent needs. And uh, when I came back, I realized that the way I'd set up the little studio I have here wasn't uh, conducive to a good video. So I've uh, come back and rearranged everything in year of release. Um, 
I have 2020s somewhere in this mix. Um, I always get jumbled up between 2019 and 2020, especially with the power grabs, but um, there are a few from 2019, 2018, and down through the years we go. Put the stickers on everything so I don't have to squint at the back of the packet. The 11 some castings uh, that I thought were new to 2020 or 2019 are not so that was interesting a lot of these are from the uh, big purchase I did a few weeks ago so we'll unbox some of those um, there's a gap between sort of 2008 and 2000 um, and because I didn't like the, the look at the pegboard um, with all the gaps, I've just filled it with doubles. So a little bit of a cheat. 2002, down through the 90s, and sneak a few majorette in from the 80s, and end up with this one where. Um, I couldn't find it yesterday for the life of me, I couldn't find it. Um, and because of the, the interruption, uh, I had another look and found it. So I was pleased to do that. That one is from, I've got a catalogue uh, from 1978 and it's in that. I'm not sure if it came out much before 78. But uh, I have very fond memories of this one. Because it's got a lot of weight to it. And it uh, zips along when pushed. Um, whenever there was a roadblock in play, um, you'd launch a few of these at the roadblock, and uh, cars would go flying everywhere. So very fond memories of that one. But uh, I'll start on unboxing a few castings that I don't have um, loose at the moment, and I'll have a look at those. So. This is um, from 2019, the Ford F550 Super Duty. I thought I had this one loose. Maybe I do in another color, or uh, maybe it's not a fire truck at all. But, um, I've. Uh, done away with the turntable altogether. Actually I might do away with this black thing because I've yeah, get rid of that altogether. That's better. Okay, on with the show. So he's there and might as I find the the uh, relevant castings, I'll just sort of grab them rather than go year by year. Um, so it's 2019, and then they come out with this really snazzy Scania P360, which I already have loose. Um, here we are. I won't unnecessarily rip things open. Even though that's fun to do. They were very busy in 2019 with their fire trucks and things. This is the, the latest of the Hazard Squad and it seems I've got a lot of those um, to show today. Nice uh, canned pea green colour and then there's a few of these around too, the Freightliner M2106 in a very dark red is that going to play? no just use the old brute force oh man
stubborn. There we go. Seems to sit to the left. Just to pump the truck. It's amazing to think these have all been released in the one year. Um, and of course I've got a few of those unboxed ready. It's the Hudson Hornet, 1951 Hudson Hornet. And of course that came out in various police liveries. So I'll put him back safely. Oh, yes. And just to mix things up, the uh, Freightliner came out in a very familiar National Parks. There he is. Same wheels, but a little bit of a switch up on the colour scheme. And that was it for 2019, or that's it that I have anyway. 2018, I'm sure all of these or most of these came out in different guises, but this is the only one from 2018 I have. Um, yeah, can't really say a lot about this because I don't like it, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it. The Bay Brigade. I'm not sure what you do with a boat in these collections. There are a few float, well, I shouldn't say floating around because they don't float. Uh, we'll skip right on down to 2017. Fire Stalker. Ah, perfect. Brush Fire Rescue. Completely out of scale to everything else, but that's right. So that was 2017's effort. Uh, actually, it's two from 2017, although I've got the 2016. No, this is back before I knew what was what. Um, it's 2016 sticker, but it's actually referring to the copyright, not the manufacturer. Um, this again, the Super Duty from Ford. In a strange, almost translucent red. Uh, step forward. Yeah. And 2016 was another one of those years, wasn't it? Flame Smasher. Okay, cannon on the front. I won't bother opening that one either. Don't think much of him. But way back in 2015, and quite pro quite probably before that, um, they were putting out this one, the International. Um, and I thought that was new from very recently. Is there another one? Yes. So these are the 2020 and 2019. Don't ask me which order they went in, because I can't remember. Um, and I thought they were uh, a new casting, because I'm familiar with them. But this one from 2015. In white and chrome. So you learn something in this hobby every day. Have to get used to looking through the viewfinder. I've put the camera on a, a different mount, so um, we'll see how that goes. And from 2014, the 1963 Mac B model. I actually thought this was a Seagrove, I think they called it, um, from recently, because when I was ripping through that, that uh, Matchbox haul um, video series. I wasn't paying a lot of attention because I was sort of distracted by the amount of doubles I was getting. 
but um, when I came to this guy, I thought it was this one loose. I thought it was this, but alas, it is not. It's actually a much better looking truck in my opinion. So that's something funky. And 2012 we've got quite a few, starting with the Hazard Squad. So that'll be the second so far. And sticking with 2012, MDX Highway Fire Engine. What uh, I've come to know as fantasy cars. I used to call them unlicensed and licensed, but now I, I, um, I followed the lead of others and uh, just know them as fantasy cars because they've uh, designed them themselves and, and done it that way, which is okay. Ah, here is the, the first Seagrave of the old ones. This is 2012 still. Uh, oops, tragedy. Okay, where was the one we had? Yeah. Okay, so 2012. Nicer wheels, I think, and chrome instead of the plain grey plastic. And roughly the same everywhere else. It's a brighter red. I should have left it. The old one is better. But just my opinion. And then we go over this side for 2011. So this is another hazard squad. See if I can remember which order they go in as we get more and more of them. Because that I like that. And then 2010 uh, was another international. So that one and that one and that one. have a um, very crowded table by the time we finish today. That's okay. And sticking with 2010, I've got another Hazard Squad. It's nice when there's a bit of continuity in the lineup. Each year they, they stick with Quite a few um, castings and just reimagine them. And that's a double, maybe. Maybe it's not. Hmm. 2010 also. Oh, that's strange. Does that mean they came out with two of the same in 2010? Everybody back. I've already got them jumbled up. <laughs> it's alright. You just have to play the video back to see which was which. Five in a row. Okay, as you were.
and 2009 international pumper but um hmm. ah, this is one of those years where i mean you're, this is why i've put stickers on the back of everything because the writing is just crazy small but they do both say 2008 which means should mean um both 2009 release but who knows, maybe they did it slightly differently back then. Got a copyright and just ran with it for a few years. I don't know. Quite a heavy casting, actually. It's surprisingly heavy. But allegedly, both 2009. Thailand. And same... Hmm. Is that twi uh, 1998? Maybe. So maybe that was uh, the last of uh, that casting. They discontinued it after that. Um, Flame Tamer. Didn't we have something like that, but it wasn't called that? Yes, okay. I didn't think it was called Flame Tamer before. But this is 2009. And my little table gets all dusty, it's all the cardboard that's being ripped. City Fire Department. So that's pretty neat. There. And 2008. Ladder King. What does the ladder do? Nothing. Okay. It's fixed. It's alright. And another flame tamer. Okay. okay. Maybe um, the, the first one was a flame tamer as well because this is number three. Today, so we'll put him a little bit out of the way. And they were all doubles, weren't they? So, all the way down to 2002. Um, this is obviously the 50th anniversary. I won't open this one because um, I do have the other three of this little set, 1962 VW, a Model A Ford, London Taxi, and this one, so uh, I'll keep him in the box, it's lasted this long, it can last another little while yet, um, same with these, these are part of a set from 2001, um, really strange looking cars anyway, or trucks anyway yeah. and that we have loose somewhere it's lost in the crowd ah there he is it's him loose a little bit of suspension try to get the ladder off earlier but um, it's either going to break it or break my thumb now So that's 2001. And then I wasn't sure if I was going to um, have these in the fire fire lineup, fire engine lineup, because it's just a, a spotlight truck. But um, I suppose you could call that part of the team. It's from 1999. And then roughly 94 they did a whole stream of the ones in the very fluoro 
what would you call that, orange? We'll call it orange. And then this little anom anomaly. Um, this is one of the open boxes, which is good. Uh, might actually have it loose somewhere anyway, but it's okay. Either way, it opens. It, um, the box was interesting to me because... Um, where are we? Yeah, Tullamarine, Australia. So I don't know if it was a marketing thing just for this box. I do have other boxes with um, that colour scheme on it, but um, yeah, I'm not sure what the, the connection to Tullamarine, Victoria is. But one of life's little mysteries. And what are we? Doubles and triples there, so nothing to show. Um, and then what is this? 1991. A few different colours and 2001. So it sort of went like that. It's the crazy wheels. And I think there's about five or six others um, that I don't have in that particular casting. Shove him over there. Man, standing room only here. And then we zip into the 90s. Um, this one here is um, it started life out as a motorhome. And then they did a few casting changes to it. And so we've got 95, 86, 89. 86 and a double and 84 and it also appeared in the US as a police command center so pop those over there and as I said we'll sneak in a few majorette um, from 1984 if I can show these without getting too much reflection on the box. It would seem really, I don't know, sacrilege, shall we say, to open up these. They have been beautifully sealed for a very long time, 36 years. Um, Majorette did a stunning Jeep Cherokee that reminds me of this one um, as an ambulance and suspension was fantastic it was one of my favorite cars in the world in in the early 80s but um, I found these three um, on eBay maybe a year ago maybe more now but um, and my intention was to rip them open because I don't really like this packaging but there is no way that the packaging survives being opened, it just disintegrates. Um, so I haven't done it thus far, and probably won't. They've lasted a very long time. So they survive another day. And we'll round this video out with two more from this one from 1982, but it stuck around for a few years with the very familiar dot dash wheels. Actually, these are five arch wheels. Do I have dot dash anywhere? No. Seemed like I was talking to my cars then, didn't it? No, can't find the dot dash. And there. And that takes us all the way back to the favourite and original. Um, Blaze Buster, I think they called that one. It's, yeah, Blaze Buster, made in England from, I believe, 78, but might be a little bit older than that. Right, that wraps up the Fire Engine Edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. No surprise that 
something survived today. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.